Again, thank you for all the likes, comments, and subscribes. I really do appreciate it. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, Cancer. What do we got? What's going on with you? All right, let's see. First card, Five of Cups. So your energy, you're speaking. The High Priestess. Then we have the Death card. I knew, ah, when I was thinking of your reading just now, right before I pressed play, I thought of the Death card. And I love this death card, so I pictured it exactly. I just love that card. We'll, we'll zoom on into that. So then we also have the Page of Cups. My, oh my, Cancer, you are feeling it right now. Okay, you are feeling it. I think, I think right now you're going through a lot of crying, okay? And then right back with some some backlash, saying something real asshole like. I feel like you know what I, you know how that is. But I feel like you are very there's a lot you are very sad right now. There's a lot going on, okay? A lot going on right now. But um, you know, it's it's definitely not the time for anyone to kind of take advantage of it though. That's what I meant. So with the five of cups, you know, you could have under you could have just gone through a death you know, a family member, someone close to you, someone that is affecting you and your family. I really want to say that. So my condolences for the cancer watching that, you know, someone that recently passed or someone that you still can't get over that past, okay, that it could have been a while. But if not a death, okay, let's just go ahead and talk about relationships. And, you know, I want to say being a cancer, sometimes we can be the one to end the relationship and we're still extremely hurt we could still sometimes even be more hurt than the other person because when we get together with somebody especially water signs you know we we intend for forever there's something about you that we know we want to love you forever like we want to make sure that the water never runs dry with you and it regardless of who broke up with who though it looks like you you you, you take that time out of your day or like you you still revisit the past quite often Okay, you still, some of you may go to that special place you and that person went to from one extreme to the other, but you still very much think about the person and the love that's lost. Some of you could be in another relationship, but you still love that person even more than you love the person that you're with now. Okay, there's a great loss here though in love, the high priestess. So, you know, you could, um, definitely be on a twin flame journey you could be with a karmic partner now and then your divine masculine is someone you still focus on someone that you still are like wow what if what if this what if that what if we were still together what if he loved me what if you know we could work at all that you know and you're wondering you're thinking about it all the time you know the high priestess is of a good is of a great knowing so i think some of you who are in a relationship you keep that hidden. You know, these times of the day, you're probably supposed to be at work or, or you were with the family or you were with someone else, you know, just a friend. But really, you're just like taking time out by yourself, like at the park or whatever, even if at the house, just thinking about that person that you really love, okay, that there's a lot of history there. Even if you're with someone, it seems like... um you may love that person more than you love the person you're with, even if you've known the person that you're with longer than them. It's just a lot of love. High priestess is someone that, um, you know, rules the subconscious mind, but there's a, there's a, there's a, um, an oath of silence there. There's, you know, this mystery with her. It's like, why, you know, maybe the person you're with just wonders so much why you're not always there. You know, you're not always present in the moment. It's because you love someone, but you're not going to tell them. There are secrets kept here, Cancer, that you're not telling someone. If this person has passed, there may be a few, there may be, there may be some things that you can't seem to move on from because there are things you didn't know about him or her before they did pass okay um the death card okay so transformation love and i really love this card because i'm a scorpio but not only that i love to know that this is what it feels like when you're taking on like the pain of others when you want to transform when you want to change when you want salvation you know you, this is what it looks like. This is how it feels. You know, sometimes Scorpios get a bad rep and sometimes the Scorpios are the only ones that know that sometimes we can do absolutely nothing and it's because we're taking on all of the pain and silence. You know, they are the ones who's screaming, but we take it all in and we're like... We don't speak, you know, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a common denominator here of cancer being extremely silent. If words could kill. But you're not out to kill anyone. You're out to like, 
you're literally out to like wanting to heal others right now you're wanting to take on typical cancer everyone's like pain and problems and sorrow right now because you can you can relate you know something's going on with you whereas you're relating to like everyone who's in pain and right now you're getting to kind of be the hand of the healer the healer okay i love that I love how all the animals around them are like dying and dead. And look at look at his leg. He's still strong and holding on. Look at him. He's dying. You're withering. You know what I mean? That blood moon back there. And imagine how heavy this lie, this tiger is. You're you're taking on everyone's pain and sorrow right now. As if like in the Vampire Diaries, if any of you have seen that, Bonnie Bennett, what did she do to deserve that? But Bonnie Bennett one time was like the vessel, someone put a curse on her, you know, whereas everyone who was dying, like all of like the malevolent, like the, the um, powerful creatures and stuff had to pass through her. And imagine how hard, how bad that hurt, like a dying body having to pass through you. And it really hurts. And you're like, you're in an oath of silence right now, uh, Cancer. Okay. You're, you're really not speaking much. You're, you're really not. You're letting others speak through you, okay? You're letting others' pain speak for you. Page of Cups, more, more, more of your energy, Cancer, okay? I'm going to tap this so you can see his little cute, his cute little face, okay? It seems that everyone around you, again, is on the same page as you when it comes to hurt, when it comes to pain, when it comes to sorrow, when it comes to love. You could be on a very spiritual journey right now, and this may not have to do with anyone around you. Some of you may not even be really out there, but it means that you're very in touch to your divine, that your spiritual guides are the ones that can, can, can relate to the pain and suffering that you do, your spirit guides, okay? This is, you're, you're definitely though on the same page with people around you. So if some of you are scared to get out, don't, because the places that you're going to go, the people who you're going to end up talking to are going to be on the same page as you when it comes to the way that you feel. If you're looking at um, embarking in, in a relationship, you're going to get, you're going to step foot right at the, at that person's door that you need to, or they're going to step foot right on your door. Okay. You're, you're on a very spiritual journey right now. So don't give up hope. You know, you're trying to understand the love that you have, the love that you have for someone. You're trying to understand why they're not here, why they have left you, why they've gone, why they're not here. Okay. You're trying to understand that you're still trying to, to, to understand, okay. The love you have for someone. Okay, and it hurts. It's you're going through a transformation process right here, and you're trying to understand who you are, who they are, and who they were to you, how it feels to go through it, learning what you have to do and go through in order to, to be able to turn the page and, and you say, Okay, I'm ready for the next lesson. I'm ready to understand more about who I am, about how I love and why I love cancer. Okay, let's clarify this five of cups for cancer. The King of Cups. More water energy. More water energy. I mean, at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Cups. Sorry about that. Oops. Okay. You could be dealing with an air sign. Some of you, I keep seeing air signs wanting to pop up. You could be dealing with an air sign, a fire sign. But the King of Cups, okay? You could be um, um, with a fellow water sign, okay, Cancer, or this could be you, you know, how you're putting on your brave face, you know, you're some, you're, you know, you're putting on your brave face, okay, the five of cups, you know, somebody, your dad, your brother could have passed, a man could have passed, but if not, if this is your energy, there's, there's, there's a water sign, or there's someone who has a lot of love for you, but that may not show it, but will show it in the words, you know, show it in his actions more than, more than in his speech, okay, um, it looks like the king's speech, okay? It looks like somebody wants to come and tell you something, okay? The five of cups. It looks like the person that you're with, for those of you who are in a relationship right now, love you very, very dearly, and they just want to help you in the love that you have for someone and the hurt and the pain and the sorrow. This person sees how much you hurt. It's like you feel so much that you make them feel, okay? You really do. They They hurt because you're hurting, Okay, this king of cups, there's someone who may not even be a water sign, but you 
you feel so much that you make them feel. At the top of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. They could be a fire sign. But this is someone who, again, who feels because you feel. Okay? He understands everything that you've gone through, everything that you're going through, that you're, that you're so dedicated to this person or people every day, the love, the sorrow that you have for someone who left you, you know, who's not here. He sees that and he feels that. You see her hand right here? Like, wow, you know? You give him strength. You give him courage to believe. You really do. This this card, you could be married to someone right now. Let's clarify this high priestess. They may be on the same page as you for those who are in love with someone else as far as that there may be someone else out there for, you, for them to love too. But regardless, you guys are on the same page. If some of you are in a relationship, you two are on the same page. Okay? The High Priestess, the Star card. This is a wish fulfillment for you. This is a balance of the scales for you to become who you are. You went through that pain and suffering. You met this person, both of you, for a reason. Okay? You understanding what your power is and why you're here. And why you're the high priestess? Because you're not going to just be set up for failure. You're not going to just go through pain and sorrow like that without knowing. Then after you're knowing is when more has to come. It's like, okay, now you know. Are you going to take the red pill or the blue pill? You understand? It's a wish fulfillment for you to, to understand yourself, to understand everything that you go through, to understand your pain and your sorrow, other than rather than not know, right? So I think you're going to take that blue pill, right? Let's clarify the death card for cancer okay the death card for cancer again you could be dealing with an aries leo sagittarius this could be um your divine masculine with the ace of cups at the bottom of the deck your divine masculine could be a, a, a fire sign or the person you're with now could be a fire sign regardless it's you having to let go of this passion that you have for someone because you have to you have to strengthen it you have to recreate it because right now it only it only sits here. This person is ready. You guys are ready to move forward with what you know and how you feel. You're trying to strengthen a bond. You're trying to strengthen a love. You want to see it from a new perspective. This is something we pray for. If we've been hurt, cancer especially, right? If we've been hurt or wronged by someone, it's hard for us to move forward and move on. That's your challenge. Sometimes we pray to be able to forgive. <clears throat> okay? This King of Wands could have, you know, had you a part of a third party. I see underneath. <clears throat> he could have hurt you very much, but your lesson here is to move forward. Take that pain. Take it in and move forward. Transform. Understand that the pain is only there temporarily if you can move forward with it. Okay, you got to eat it up. You know what I mean? This King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, is, um, he can be manipulative. Okay, but he's very strong and passionate. He's a leader. You know, he's someone who's so strong and so passionate that he can be overbearing. So he doesn't. He's not in reverse, you know. So he doesn't. He sits back. He's, he's, a, he's a man of honor. He sits back and he lets others orchestrate. He lets others do. He lets others be and go through what they got to go through. He's someone who, who has to obviously be of authority. He has to let people know what's going on, you know, and how to do things. But he'll sit back and let other people um, dictate, orchestrate, help, do. You know, they'll put their two-piece in. He knows he's very strong and overbearing. So he'll let sit back and let you go through this because it's something you have to go through. He understands that. You know, but he's someone you don't ask questions to either. You know, you just know you tr they trust in him. You trust in him. Okay, judgment is here. I think this is the right thing to do. Let's clarify this page of cups. Because we're running out of time. Ay, Dios. We got hella cards. Oh, okay. So we got a lot of cards i'm going to put these back i'm going to open the deck page of cups is the hermit understanding this love 
understanding this love and taking it one step at a time, going into the unknown and understanding. This is probably a very hard thing for you to do, to understand how you love and why you love in the first place, Cancer. Okay, I think this man here is someone very important to you that you're going to have to be open and willing to learn why why he was put into your life. Okay, Cancer, if you want to know more about your reading, please follow the description box below. Thanks so much. Bye.